Hello, welcome once again to ASOM North for online math class. In this video, we are going to discuss the graphical solution to quadratic equation. Kindly hit the red button to subscribe to my channel to get notification whenever a new video is out. There are quite a number of ways of solving a quadratic equation of which graphical method is part of it. And that is our center of attention. Now, before we delve into this problem, I want to let you know that the roots, which is the solutions to a quadratic equation, has three categories of nature. The natures of roots of quadratic equation can be in three categories, which I will write on the board now. So, you can now see that the roots of a quadratic equation can be real and distinct. It can be real and equal or imaginary, as the case may be. So let me exemplify this for you on the board. Okay, for it to be real and imaginary, let's say you have something like this. Um, a clear look at this curve or graph will tell you that the curve is touching the x axis at two different points. And uh, these are real values of x that will satisfy this quadratic equation. And they are at two different points, which means the values of x here are two different values. So we say the roots here are real but distinct. Sometimes you can have a curve that looks like this. You will see that the curve is just touching the x axis at only one point, unlike this one where it touches it at two different points. So if this happens, we say that the roots of this quadratic equation are real but equal because they lie at the same point. Okay, what if you have some curve that looks like this? Yeah, you have your x and y axis. At this case, there is no point at all where this curve is touching the x axis. Because of that, we say that the roots are imaginary because no real value of s can satisfy that particular quadratic uh, equation. Okay, now let's go to the main business. Main business. A question was asked here, so let us tackle it together. To continue to solve this, um, using graph to solve quadratic equation implies that you have to first of all make out a table of values. That is why we are asked to copy and compute the table. So you have to make a table of values like this. And that is exactly what I'm doing now. Um, you have the values of x, and the values of our x ranges from uh, we have minus 2. We can still have uh, not just minus 2, there are so many values of, of x here. We have minus 2, we have uh, minus 1, we have 0, we have 1, we have 2, and 3. So these are the values of x that are given to us. So after writing out these values of x, the next thing you write is the first element of the quadratic equation. The quadratic equation is 3x plus 2. Okay? So x squared minus 3x plus 2. So the first element here is x squared. You plug in x squared. Um, x squared means you are squaring the values of x. So you say minus 2 squared is 4. Minus 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1. 2 is 4. And 3 is uh, 9. The next thing there is minus 3x. Minus 3x implies you are multiplying the values of x by minus 3. So minus 3 times minus 2 is uh, 6. Uh, minus 3 times minus 1 is 3. Minus 3 times 0 is 0. We have minus 3, minus 6, and minus uh, 9. Then finally, we have a constant 2 plus 2, means that you repeat 2. Because a constant remains uh, the same, it doesn't uh, change. Having written the constant, you've got to write the values of y. So you can see the procedures I'm following to be able to fill in this table of values. Now, as you want to add up, don't include this because this is not part of the quadratic equation. The quadratic equation began from x squared. So you start from x squared, which is 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. That is why we're having 12 here. They did that one for us. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 2 is a 6. 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is uh, 0. 
4 minus 6 is minus 2, minus 2 plus 2 is 0, and 9 minus 9 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2. So we have carefully made out values for y. Then you now fix it in here to complete the table. Here is 6, here is 2, 0, 0, and 2 is already here. This is how to copy and complete a table. Once you've copied and completed a table, the next task that follows is to use this table of values you've completed to um, draw the graph. And from the graph, we'll be able to find the roots of this quadratic equation. The roots of the quadratic equation are just the points where the curve you must have drawn will touch the x uh, axis. The minimum value of y, okay, this is not part of the equation, but minimum value is obtained when the curve slopes downwards like this. If it slopes like this, it is going to have a maximum value because here is maximum, while here is a minimum. Then we are also asked to solve the equation where you have y is x squared minus 2x minus 2. Remember, this equation and this equation are entirely two different equations. But with the aid of quadratic equation graph, we can solve a different equation from the graph we've made. So let us see how it goes. Okay, at this point, we have successfully made the table of uh, values. So we are now going to use this table of values to plot the graph. Um, to plot this graph, we have carefully written out the axis of y and the axis of x. And uh, in the axis of x, I made it in such a way that I'm using, I'm jumping two uh, boxes to get uh, one unit. 2, 3, 4, etc. But in the values of x, I'm just jumping one box to have two units. This is dependent on the kind of values I have for x and the y. For example, the values of y are too big up to 12. And if I write 1, 2, 3, the graph may not contain it. But the values of x are too small. And here, because I'm jumping two boxes to have one unit, I'll call it 2cm to one unit. Assuming I'm writing 5, 10, 15, it will be 2cm to 5 units. Here, I'm jumping one box to write 2. It will be 1cm to um, 2 units because one box is just 1cm. Okay, now, at this point, let us proceed to plot the graph. When x is minus 2, the value of y is 12. So here, you're having minus 2, you look for 12. You move up for 12, look at the line of 12, you trace it. So you are plotting somewhere here. Okay, so you have minus uh, 2 for x and uh, 12 for y. Then the next thing you do again is you have x as minus 2 and y is 6. So x as minus 1 and y is 6. Look at x minus 1 here, you look for 6. Look at where you're having 6. You mark another arc. You have x as 0 and y is 2. x is 0 and y is 2. You mark another one here at this point. When x is 1, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 0. So it's at this point you mark. When x is 2, y is 0 also. x is 2 here. Look at x here as 2. And y is 0 at this point. You mark another arc. Then after that, you have that when x is 3, y is 2. When the value of x is 3, you have your y as 2. So that is it here at this point, you mark, because this is y here at 2, and the value of x is uh, 3. Okay, having done that, the next thing you do is to successfully join the points you've plotted together. Okay? Carefully, but you have to use a French curve to do that. But since you're not having a French curve, <laughs> I don't have it here. So I have to use my Lula to do that, but you don't use Lula to do that. You have to make use of a French uh, curve, okay? Or you can get a broom, a soft broom, and bend it to the shape of this curve you've made and join it uh, together. So let's see. But this thing I'm doing, you don't do that. But I don't have the option now. Okay, normally 
you don't use Lula to do this, but because I don't have the Lula, that is why I have used, uh, I don't have the French curve here. That's why I use the, the Lula to join the lines. And like, as, as you can see, it is so straight. So I've joined the curve together and formed something that looks like a U-shape. If I like, I may extend this up to get a clear picture of the quadratic uh, curve. Now, other question follows from this uh, graph. At this point, uh, let us answer the question that follows from the graph. So we are asked to use our graph to solve, to get the roots of the quadratic equation. The root of a quadratic equation is obtained from the graph at the point where the curve is uh, touching, the points where the curve is touching the x axis. As you can see clearly here, the curve is touching the x axis as two different points. So the root of the equation, our root will now be x equal to, is touching it at point one or at point two. So x is equal to 2 or 1. These are the roots of a, the quadratic equation. So to get the roots of a quadratic equation, only use the two points where the curve is touching the x axis. Sometimes, like I said in the beginning of this video, that the curve can touch the x axis at only one point. Okay? That in that case, it means that the roots are real but equal. But this time around, we'll find out that the roots are real but distinct, two different values. In quadratic equations, curve or graph, you can also be asked to get either the minimum or maximum values of uh, x and uh, or values of y. Here, uh, this is lying at the origin, so the minimum value of x here, this is the minimum, is lying at zero. Okay, but if the curve is upside down, it's going to have a maximum value. This time around, since it is like a curve shape, the curve will have a minimum uh, value, okay? So there are two cases it can have a minimum value or a maximum value. But the question we have today does not require us to get a minimum or maximum value because it was not part of the questions that is asked. Okay, um, um, at this point, we've successfully got the roots of the quadratic equation. Let us now answer this question because we are asked to... Um, solve this given quadratic equation from the graph okay now to solve this from the graph you see that y is x squared minus 3x plus 2 you can still say that y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2 equal to this same value because this value is a uh, x squared minus 3x minus 2 okay then, having done that, the next thing you do is to collect like terms or to bring this value into the right-hand side. So you have that y is x squared, this one coming in, or to be faster, what you just need to do here is to say um, x squared, squared, you cancel x squared, minus 3 coming here is plus, it cancels out. We only have um, y equals 2. 1 minus 2 that is here is crossing over. The minus 2 must change into plus uh, 2. Okay, so you have y equals 2 plus 2. And uh, 2 plus 2 will give us uh, 4. That is the value of y. Then having got 4 as the value of y, you need to plot in 4 for the value of y. So draw a, a line y equal to 4. That is what you are required to do here. You must draw, draw a line of y equal to 4. And how do you do that? This is where y is 4. So use your Lula. I may not use Lula here, but when you're doing it in exam, use Lula to draw a straight line at that point where your y is equal to 4. Okay. At this point, after you must have drawn the straight line and trace down here, the point where this line is touching the x axis will be part of the solution. Okay, having drawn the straight lines and traced down, the point where this uh, line you've drawn down here is touching the x axis will be part of the solution to this given quadratic equation. You can see that the first point here is 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So um, 
part of the values of x to the solution of this quadratic equation is 0 0.5 or look at another point where he's touching it at this point here here is three each small box is 0 0.1 since you are counting in one and there are 10 openings 10 divided what divided by 10 will give us 0 0.1 so every small box is 0 0.1 so if you are three, we have 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, and 3.4. So you see that the values of x can be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 because that is the negative side. We have minus 0 0.5. Here is negative, while here is positive. Minus 0 0.5 or 3.4 is now the roots of the quadratic equation they want us to solve from the graph. Okay, thank you so much for your audience. Kindly hit the red button to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed what you've watched. Thank you.